After graduation, I plan to attend New River Community College and I'll be exploring ministry through the internship here at the church. My mom's favorite line is, because I told you so. <laughs> um, one person that really influenced and encouraged my journey has been my papa. He always taught me how to love people well and to just be um, someone that lights up a room. Having no possessions, no immeasurable wealth. May you get a gold star on your next test. May your educated guesses always be correct. And may you win prizes shining like diamonds. May you really own it each moment to the next. Or may the best of your today's be the worst of your tomorrow. It's not time to make a change. Just relax, take it easy. You're still young, that's your fault. Uh, yeah, so this fall I plan to attend the University of South Carolina, Columbia, and I plan to study international business, and thanks to a UPS grant, I will be able to spend some time abroad my first semester, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, so I think there have been a lot of influential people in my life uh, in the church family. Reverend Tim and Rev Bev, as well as Rick Brown, have uh, been really influential to me. And then uh, through Scouts, as well as through the church, uh, Cliff, Br Cliff Baker, pardon me, um, Rick Brown and Dexter Taylor have also been really big influences to me. Um, I, they've been people I've always respected, and they've uh, really helped me growing up and helped me to mature into the person I am, I am today, and uh, for that I'm really thankful. So there are two pieces of advice that my dad has always given me that have kind of stuck with me throughout my life. Uh, the first of those being carpe diem, which means seize the day in Latin, and that's kind of just taught me to uh, always make the most out of what you have, always be optimistic about your situation, and uh, yeah, just kind of take everything you can from your life. And then the second being a quote from a church that we drive by every time we go to school, which says, uh, without a vision, the people perish. And uh, to me, that kind of means just, uh, yeah, getting the most out of your life and also just working towards something, uh, always trying to progress, always trying to get better. Yeah. Um, after graduation, I plan to attend WVU uh, for a finance major. Um, I feel like a lot of the times my mom would tell me to make the right decision even if it's not the popular one. Um, somebody who influenced me a lot throughout my childhood would have to be my sister. Um, I feel like being the youngest sibling, you always look up to your older sibling. Um, and being able to watch her make the decisions she made in high school really influenced me. Travel on, there's one day here and the next day gone. Sometimes you bend, sometimes you stand, sometimes you turn your back to the wind. There's a world outside every darkened door where blues won't haunt you anymore. Where the brave are free and lovers. After graduation, I will be attending um, Redlands Community College in Arena, Oklahoma, on a uh, livestock judging scholarship. Um, some advice I've always heard from my parents is if you plant a potato, you get a potato. Uh, one person that's really influenced and encouraged my journey would be my livestock judging coach, Brandon Callis, and he'll be my coach in Oklahoma. He's someone that I've really looked up to my whole life and now I have the opportunity to go judge with him.
waiting for a moment Caught in between 10 and 20 And I'm just dreaming Counting the ways to where you are I'm twenty two. After graduation, I will be going to West Virginia University to study international relations. Um, my mom would always tell me better to have it, not need it, than need it and not have it. So always be prepared. <laughs> oh, one influence has definitely been Courtney Sussman at GBT. Uh, she's taught a lot of classes there that I've participated in for many years. And a lot of the life lessons that have gone with theater have really prepared me for life. When you only got a hundred years to live